Hi, I'm Natasha. And I'm Juliana. Come and watch us make some healthy eats. Inspired by our favorite films and television shows. Welcome to Cinema and Spice. We're going to show you how to make Edith's Tea Cocktail. To get this tea party really started, we're gonna need a cocktail. Absolutely. So first we start with our afternoon tea. It's a black Darjeeling tea. We have two tablespoons. And we're gonna steep it for half an hour with one cup of our beef eater gin. Why beef eater gin? We've got the guards for the Tower of He's London. He's so British. You let it sit for 30 minutes at least. And then you get this guy. So you need to strain it obviously because you don't want chunks of tea in your cocktail. Mm. And pour your infused gin back in here. Back into it. Otherwise we're gonna have some pouring difficulties. Yes. We're going to take two parts of this gin followed by one part of this Lillet that we have, which is an aperitif wine. Then we're going to do one part simple syrup and two parts lemon juice. Then we shake this baby up. Once it's nice and shaken up, it's time to do your sugar rim. So to do a sugar rim, you need two plates. One with sugar on it, another one where you can pour your liqueur. And then we're going to put our glass directly into the gin, and then pour it right into the sugar. Beautiful, I wanna do one. And can I tell you an awesome Downton Abbey fact that I found? Please. Okay, the actress Elizabeth McGovern, who plays Cora, the mother, mm -hmm. did you know that she is the lead singer in a band called Sadie and the Hotheads? And sometimes the actress who plays her oldest daughter, Mary, right. she also sings with the band. Oh my gosh, that's right? really cute. So for Downton Abbey, they dress all up in their fancy, and then they go and they wear like I rocker clothes, and they sing in Sadie and the Hotheads. I think we need to go see them. I would right? love to. So now we are going to put a few ice cubes in each cup. So we're gonna fill it almost all the way, and then finish it off with some tonic water. You can use regular tonic water or diatonic water, whatever suits your fancy. Garnish with a little slice of lime. And how easy is that? To Edith, finding her one true love. And perhaps you too. Mmm. That is good. I really like the tea infused gin. It's amazing. Our friends are gonna want first, seconds, thirds. Our friends are gonna be spending the night. <laughs> Probably. Because safety comes first. You gotta make the trifle and watch out for Mrs. Hughes teacup candles. See you next time. See ya.